Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing concept and very amazing problem with a trick. The name of this is Rare River Swimmer Saga and it's a million dollar trick for physics lover it is. So guys, uh, this is original problem and uh, uh, here is a statement of this uh, problem. Though such type of problem exists but the method is very unique. There is a river of wit L and having uniform flow velocity of 2 V0, a man having constant speed of V0 in still water while he can walk with a constant speed of 3 V0 by 2 on the ground. The man is at uh, point A and wants to reach directly opposite point B on the other side of the river. Find the direction in which man will jump with respect to line AB in order to complete the journey in minimum time. So I hope you can uh, see this diagram here there is a river and uh, we are assuming uniform uh, flow for the river and the concept here is we can use uh, Snell's law in kinematics suppose there is a point uh, P and this is the medium one uh, you can say ground or water or uh, whatever you can say proper road and other side it is a rough ground or this is river 1 and this is river 2 such type of uh, situations we can use uh, Snell's law so point P to B uh, sorry point P to Q this man wants to reach in uh, minimum time so if uh, in this medium velocity is V1 and in this medium velocity is V2 with respect to the medium here and this angle is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2 then we can say Snell's law here is V1 by sine theta 1 is equal to V2 by sine theta 2 you can obtain this result using the condition that from point P to Q time is minimum which follows the property of light rays or we can call it uh, in other words Fermat's principle as well and also the second thing which you will notice about uh, this point is VMR which is less than VRG so man cannot reach directly opposite point he will cross the river at some point C downstream and then he will walk towards the point B to reach there in some time V to minimize this time so guys there is a standard method of uh, solving this problem uh, which we are not going to use and that is uh, you take some theta and uh, add this velocity here find the velocity with respect to ground and man will reach somewhere here then he will walk back so write uh, this time t1 plus t2 and then we can uh, differentiate with respect to this angle theta d theta dt by d theta equal to 0 we will get uh, that theta and uh, corresponding time also we can calculate however by using uh, uh, Snell's law this becomes very very easy so this is going to be the situation if we are trying to solve this problem by ground frame and it's quite lengthy so since I gave this problem to many students and by seeing their uh, response almost everyone uh, were solving it by using uh, maxima minima and uh, this trick was suggested by one of the student uh, Mr. Mayank Anand he is in 10th class so you can understand like how <clears throat> good this trick is and the person's mind also so if you solve with respect to river here uh, the man will appear to be moving in this direction and after this he is walking back this side so with respect to river you can say the walking speed is going to be 3 by 2 v0 plus 2 v0 because this is having 2 v0 will give it to the man in opposite direction and this velocity which is vmr which is v0 with respect to river with respect to this observer it will appear to be moving in this direction so you can see here angle of incidence here is this uh, theta and then uh, he is going in this direction so you can see this angle is pi by 2 quite similar to the situation of uh, you can say uh, uh, total internal reflection so if you apply this logic here uh, we are going to get uh, uh, v0 sin theta divided by 3 by 2 v0 plus 2 v0 which is 7 by 2 v0 divided by sin pi by 2 if we apply this and simplify we are going to get uh, sin theta equal to 2 by 7 which is uh, theta is equal to sin inverse of 2 by 7 it makes this question as just uh, one liner and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem and its uh, solution. You can try it by calculus method. It's pretty, pretty lengthy and uh, may fill your, uh, may take a space of one full page. 
so if you have enjoyed this problem please leave a like and uh, uh, share this video with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you thanks for watching this